open your Bibles to the book of First Kings, chapter 1. The book of First Kings, chapter 1. Glory to God. We read the book of First Kings, chapter 1, and we begin to read from verse 5. Where we begin to read from verse 5, and we'll read all the way down. We'll read all the way down. Um, um, we'll read to a place I'm going to say stop. Amen. Somebody shall fire. fire. Like a mask, why is the custom of this house for us to stand to read the God's word? So we're going to read at the count of three, and we're going to read from verse five. One, two, three. Then Adonijah, the son of Haggith, exalted himself, saying, I will be king. And he prepared him chariots and horsemen, and fifty men to run before him. And his father had not displeased him at any time in saying, Why hast thou done so? And he also was a very goodly man. And his mother bare him after Absalom. And he conferred with Joab the son of Zeruiah, and with Abiata the priest. And they following Adonijah helped him. Kaya, somebody please, let me, let me pray this prayer. Please, let me pray the prayer. Lift up your two hands. Those that hate you, hear me, they will not find any help to execute their wickedness. I don't know why I'm making this prayer this way. Anybody plotting your downfall, plotting your shame, they will not find help to execute their wickedness. If you believe it shall fire. So let's read verse 8. But Zadok the priest and Benaiah the son of Jehoiada and Nathan the prophet and Shimei and Ray and the mighty men which belonged to David were not with Adonijah. And Adonijah slew sheep and oxen and fat cattle by the stone of Zohilet, which is by Enrogel, and called all his brethren the king's sons, and all the men of Judah the king's servants, but Nathan the prophet, and Benaiah, and the mighty men, and Solomon his brother he called not. Wherefore Nathan spake unto Bathsheba the mother of Solomon, saying, Hast thou not heard that Adonijah the son of Haggith doth reign? And David, our Lord, knoweth it not. Now, therefore, come, let me, I pray thee, give thee counsel that thou mayest save thine own life and the life of thy son Solomon. Go and get in thee unto King David and say unto him, This not thou, my Lord, O King, swear unto thine handmaid, saying, Assuredly, Solomon, thy son, shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon my throne. Why then doth Adonijah reign? Behold, while thou yet talkest there with the king, I also will come in after thee and confirm thy words. And Bathsheba went in unto the king into the chamber. And the king was very old, and Abishag the Shunammite ministered unto the king. And Bathsheba bowed and did obeisance unto the king. And the king said, What wouldest thou? And she said unto him, My lord, Thou swearest by the Lord thy God unto thine handmaid, saying, Assuredly Solomon thy son shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon my throne. And now behold, Adonijah reigneth. And now my Lord the king, thou knowest it not. And he has slain oxen and fat cattle and sheep in abundance and had called all the sons of the king and Abiata the priest and Joab the captain of the host. But Solomon thy son had he not called. And thou, my Lord, O King, the eyes of all Israel are upon thee, that thou shouldest tell them who shall sit on the throne of my Lord, the King, after him. Otherwise it shall come to pass, when my Lord, the King, shall sleep with his fathers, that I and my son Solomon shall be counted offenders. And lo, while she had talked with the king, Nathan the prophet also came in. And they told the king, saying, Behold, Nathan the prophet. And when he was coming before the king, he bowed himself before the king with his face to the ground. And Nathan said, My lord, O king, hast thou said that Donijah shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon my throne? For he is gone down this day, and had slain oxen and fat cattle, and sheep in abundance, and had called all the king's sons, and the captains of the host, and Abiata the priest. And behold, they eat and drink before him, and say, God save king Adonijah. But me, even me, thy servant, and Zadok the priest, and Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, and thy servant Solomon had he not called. 
Is this thing done by my lord the king? And thou hast not shewed it unto thy servant? Who should sit on the throne of my lord the king after him? Then king David answered and said, Call me Bathsheba. And she came in unto the king's presence and stood before the king. And the king swore and said, As the Lord liveth that hath redeemed my soul out of all distress, even as I swear unto thee by the Lord God of Israel, saying, Assuredly, Solomon thy son shall reign after me, and he shall sit upon my throne in my state. Even so will I certainly do this day. Then Bathsheba bowed with her face to the earth, and did reference to the king, and said, Let my Lord King live forever. And David said, Call me Zadok the priest, and Nathan the prophet, and Benaiah the son of Jehoiada. And they came before the king. The king also said unto them, Take with you the servant of your Lord, and cause Solomon to ride upon mine own Mioyobada, and bring him down to Gihon, and let Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet anoint him there, king over Israel, and blow ye with the trumpet, and say, God save King Solomon. And then ye shall come up after him, that he may come and sit upon my own throne. For he shall be king in my state, and I have appointed him to be ruler over Israel and over Judah. Our Father, we ask in the next few minutes that you make your word and your will known unto us, Father. Let there be none of any man, but all of you. Let it be about you and not of any man. Let a lover of the Lord thunder a louder. Amen. Would you lift up your right hand and thunder, say, I love the word of God. Say it is quick and powerful. Say it creates the reality that I live in. Say by the word of God, I take my place. I am unstoppable. If you believe it, thunder it louder. Amen. Just before you take your seat, help me look around your circle and give them a high five and tell them congratulations. 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 And if they are up to five, you might now take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, can, can I pray for you as you're taking your seat? I pray for you that before Wednesday morning, let the sound of congratulations be heard in your heart. Please take your seat in the presence of the Lord because I believe that the matter of the king is with utmost urgency. Do you realize that uh, uh, the word that um, uh, Bathsheba was going to enforce right now was not necessarily what the king said because Adonijah rose up. People of God, many years ago, many years ago, King David had already spoken a word and said, you know what? Even before Adonijah began his fight, there was already a word that Solomon would be king. I need to say it again. You didn't hear that. It flew over your head. Even before Adonijah began to do shoulder like this, there was already a word that David, like Solomon, was going to be king. So even before Adonijah rose up, there was a word over Solomon. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, before they fought, there's already a word over my life. Tell your neighbor, before the shame, Say before the affliction, before the setback, say there's already a word over my life. Tell your neighbor, say the word is older than their battle. If you understood it, shall fire. I didn't hear you turn the fire. Can you shout it louder, fire? Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, forever. Oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Let your amen thunder. Listen, before the sickness came, there's a word over your healing. People of God, before the setback, there was a word for your speed. Before the shame came, there's a word for your glory. Before you went through what you went through, there's already a word about your victory. If you understand it, shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. And people of God, I need you to know, there's already a word. When you see something that does not look like God, I need you to look at that thing and say, there's already a word. Did you hear what I just said right now? There's already a word. It might look like I'm having setback right now, but listen, listen, there is already a word. Something might be going around or going wrong where your children are, but listen, there's already a word. I and the children the Lord has given to me, we are for signs and one. There is already a word. There is already 
somebody uh, people of God you're saying you're not married didn't you understand the Bible said none of you shall lack a mate there is already uh, the word is older than the situation uh, the word is older than what I'm going through uh, the word is older than the affliction uh, I quote on about and in our custom uh, if you are younger you will respect the older and we call everything uh, that is not as old as the word uh, let it bow to the word let it bow to the word let it bow to the word let your amen turn the louder take your seat people of God I need you to realize and this is what this woman as soon as she came and saw that something was going wrong Nathan looked and saw something was going wrong <laughs> Nathan went and met Bathsheba and said Sheba let me tell you have you not heard that something is going wrong somebody wants to take over the throne of your son if you want to take your place oh. he said I don't understand don't you understand that this guy is already declaring himself a king he said Bathsheba I have a problem with you this is what Nathan was telling him telling her I know you know that something like this is going on. My problem with you is that you're not taking action. My problem with you is that seasons are changing and you are still doing what you used to do. Bathsheba, go into the king. Bathsheba, men who want to take their place, do not allow seasons to happen to them. They create the seasons they want to see. He says, Sheba, go into the king. Sir, if you've got to take your place, you must understand what the times are, number one, and find out the actions you need to take in time. I wish I can stretch it further. Let me stretch it. If you must take your place, you must understand what is the season. Number two, what actions am I supposed to be taking? Number three, who are those that matter now? People of God. I need you to understand that he says to Bathsheba, begin the talk. I will meet you. You are going to start the talk. You, but whether you are going to take action. I need you to call your name. Say Jerry. Say take action. See, God is going to open your mind. God is going to... If your amen will turn down, every revelation you need. Because this is a critical season. This is, this is a critical season. What you need to do as your amen will turn down, let it be opened in your eyes of understanding. I need to call your name and say, Jerry, take action. Can you say it again? Say, Jerry, take action. Let your amen turn down louder. Take your seat. I need you to know, some of you may understand. Listen, you're in a critical season. You're in a transition season right now. People of God, you need to take action right now. You need to take action. I want you to know that some of we are already in March. People of God, count down two weeks from now. We will find ourselves in April. People of God, gradually, gradually, we are entering again into the middle of the year. Call your name and say, Jerry, take action. People of God, are you still delaying your fasting, delaying all the things you call your name again and say, Jerry, take action. If your amen will turn hear me as I hear the Lord, before the end of March, let there be an evidence for you. Take your seat. And he says to him, he said, Bathsheba, look at the season we are in. This guy is declaring himself king. This guy is declaring himself, oh my goodness, Lebarabo Sharia. And Bathsheba said, yes, sir, I'm going to go. And then Bathsheba moves into the king. And then bowed himself in front of the king. He, she came with one mandate. Something came. She said to the king, did you not say? He said, I'm not asking you to make my son king. But I'm asking you, did you not say? Our place is not because of us. We are not asking to take our place because of our greed. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We are not asking for our place because we are not content. But we are asking for our place because did you not say? 
Lord Lord did you not say I have given you everything that pertains to life and God did you not say silver and gold are mine did you not did, like these things we are talking about now did you not say it so Lord if we are talking to take our place we are not asking you know sometimes a, I wish you know sometimes people wish they can a, expunge very wicked people who are masking their wickedness with religion who believe that they understand more than they are the social prefects of Jesus people of God sometimes they wish they can delete the promises from the Bible did he not say, ask of me and I will give you the nations? Did he not say, he said it. He says nations will come. They will come. Kings will come to the brightness of your eyes. Did you not say? But Nathan said, go and speak to the king. While you are talking with the king, I will come in. So, I'm going to act like I don't know why you are entering in. So, once you just enter in, I'll go follow you. So, but once you speak with the king for a while, it will be like so. Kai. Can I pray for you? May God give you a man like Nathan. May God give you people that will watch your back. In the season when you are unpopular, may God give you people that will stand by you. I wish your amen will thunder louder. I wish your amen will rise higher. I wish your amen will thunder. Take your, take your seat. You know, I'm, I'll quickly round off this and just say something about people of God. Um. I, I, would, I, I would love to talk about Adonijah situations. How you know th that you are in an Adonijah situation. Like what I mean by this, Adonijah situations are situations that cannot make it. So you know that if I find myself in this situation, I will not make it. I'm not going anywhere. But let me finish with this. And then Nathan comes in. I want you to know. He said, Bathsheba, you're going to speak like a woman. But I'm going to speak with a prophetic voice. You will speak your own. But what you are saying is not enough. You need to add the voice of the prophetic. I wish I can stay on this matter. You can say and speak as a man. But it is not enough. I don't know whether you are getting what I'm saying. You can make the phone call. Normally, that's what you're supposed to do. Make the phone call. You can write the letter. You can drop the proposal. Once you are done doing what you have to do as a man, you need to add another voice. And that is the prophetic voice. Sir, I know you need to do all the things. Put dot all the eyes, cross all the things. Because your problem was that Bathsheba spoke. But there was no Nathan's voice. Some days you will prepare. I know they've already said they will do it. They promised me that they, you put your trust in man. You don't know when Bathsheba finishes talking. You need to bring up another prophetic. What is a prophetic voice? A voice that says what God has said. In prophecy, we foretell and we foretell. And so, when you are being prophetic, you are speaking what God has said. You are speaking what God has said. People of God, you are declaring exactly the way God. So, when Bathsheba is done talking, it needs a Nathan's voice. Go there. Ask for it. When you are done, get back to your secret place. We use the voice of Bathsheba to reach men. But we use the voice of Nathan to reach the heaven. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Karanda Bosubotolaba. We use of the voice of Bathsheba to state our case. We use the voice of Nathan to call forth the things which be not as though they were. Kayana Bosubada Liara. Zende Yadabasha. You see, I might speak to you, 
with the voice of Bathsheba. And you will think all she is is just a woman. All she is is just uh, somebody weak. All she, but wait a minute. I got a secret place. At that place, I don't talk like my gender. I talk with the voice of the prophet. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I come into your office. I say, oh God, you know, I mean, you just have to do this if you can. If you, if you I'm, please, I'm, I'm there. And then when I finish talking with Bathsheba voice, when I get to the secret place, the Bible said the hearts of kings are in his hands like rivers of flowing water. He turned them with us so ever. He wake up and those support to May destiny not catch you with only one voice. Talk like Bathsheba. Prophesy like Neta. Did you hear what I just said? There is vacuum in destiny when only the voice of Bathsheba is heard. There is vacuum. Your voice is not enough. You need to add to your voice the voice of God. Mothers and fathers who are still raising children, your voice is not enough. You need to add the voice of God to your own voice. Do you understand what I'm saying? People of God, don't let them hear your voice. Only add the voice. Oh my goodness. I wish I can deconstruct what I am saying. But people of God, don't let Bathsheba talk. You, you say, I will take my place. I, think, I know what to do. People of God, you are not the only one that speaks English. Too many people speak English. Too many people know what you know. Too many people, are, people have, have gone with their knowledge and their knowledge has failed them. People have gone with their strength and their strength has failed them. I say it again. When you are done talking like Bathsheba, now we are another voice. And that is the voice of Neta. Did you hear what I just said? When they, they let them admire, oh, you know what you're doing. Oh, you know what you're saying. Oh, you know what. But people of God, don't let all they see be the voice of Bathsheba. Nathan said, when you are talking, I will come. Because your voice alone is not enough. People of God, the battles are getting stronger. Your voice alone is no longer enough. It might be you, only you making the same sound, but I, I'm sure you understand what I am trying to say. So people of God, talk like a man in affairs. Get back to the secret place. Pick up the prophetic voice. Do you understand what I'm saying? We declare, we legislate, we begin to talk. This is how it's going to be. Because he said, concerning the works of my hands, command ye me. Am I communicating? Ah, at the time Nathan added his voice. Once Nathan added his voice, the king said, you know what? This is serious. It's not enough to talk like a man. It's not enough. It's not enough for Bathsheba alone to talk. The king said, this is, you know, you know, the truth is that you are busy Canceling situations, you should cast out the demonic spirit. I don't know that you're getting what I'm saying. You are canceling people. You know, sometimes, you know, your children behave in some way and then you are there giving them cancer. You know, um, I want to cancel you. Then, no, it's not a canceling matter. It's not a canceling matter. If you notice a child has been consistently stubborn, don't cancel the child. Stubbornness is not good. If you are stubborn, you will go to hell. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Say yes, mommy. Then the stubbornness is increasing. No. So when it becomes an issue, lay hands. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. When there is waywardness invading anybody, speak to the spirit. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Speak to the spirit. Command every spirit that has influenced them. Let it disappear. You will talk like Bathsheba. But most importantly, carry the voice of Nathan. Immediately he begins to talk. The king said, wow, this is becoming interesting. And he said, you know what? I know there are people who may have joined him. Man, eh? This thing called man. Let me not go there. And he said, what you are going to do is that you are going to curse my servant. He said, take with you the servant of your Lord and cause Solomon 
to ride upon my own mule. My own mule. The throne has a mule. Let me say this. Adonijah was riding on something. But what he was riding on is not what will take him to the throne of King David. He might take him to any kind of throne, but not the throne that he desires. When you desire some certain thrones, ask yourself, this thing I'm riding, will it take me to the throne I desire? He said, put him on my own mule. Even before Solomon sits on the throne, he needs to ride to the throne. I wish I can, I can stay here about that super layer, that candles here. I want to say this, there's a place you desire, but what you are riding does not have the capacity to take you there. Come down from that. There are, there, are, there are mules you ought not to be on because if you ride it, it will take you 10 years back from where you are coming from. There are mules that take men to the throne. Kayabosia. And David said, put him on that my own. Put him on my own so that it will take him there. People of God. It takes a man who has sat on the throne for too long to be able to tell you the mules that take men to the throne. I know I'm saying too many things at the same time. When a man has sat on the throne for a long time, you may need to receive wisdom from them to tell you how and what mules can take you to the throne. But anyway, let me pack that by the side and begin to let you know, he says, take this guy, sir, let him ride on my own mule. Desire the throne but most importantly, ask yourself, what mules, what horses, what steps, what strategies, what habits, what lifestyle, this way I am living, will it take me to the throne that I have prayed for? Adonijah, you won the throne, or you are riding the wrong horse. Adonijah, you won the throne of David, but you're riding the wrong stuff. Jesus. There's a life you want, but your attitude is riding the wrong horse. There's a level of open heaven you want, but the spiritual laziness that is riding you will never take you to that life that you want. If you want the throne of King David, you're going to ride King David's horse. Am I making sense? So sir, you can't design your own horse desiring the outcome of another man. Am I communicating? Please, am I wasting your time? And he says, ride on my own mule and bring him down to Gihon. Yes. And let Zadok the priest and Nathan the prophet anoint him there, king over Israel. Adonijah declared himself king without oil. No, sir, no, sir. They say, make no mistakes about it, Karabasa. Men do not rise by chance. There are things that systems can push a man up. Structures can push a man up. But when God wants to leave a man with a generational legacy that his children will inherit, he gives that man an oil. <laughs> Sir, hard work can push a man up. But just in case he stops being hard working. Do you understand what I'm saying? But he says, listen, Adonijah has the ginger, but he doesn't have the oil. Adonijah has the courage and boldness, but he doesn't have the oil. Parende kosa. Sekoto basha. Sir, I have seen men with ginger. I have seen men who will see what other men are doing and they want to copy them. They copy what you don't have. People of God, let me tell you what frustration in destiny is. Copying what you don't have oil for. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. 
Do not copy what you don't have. Or you, Adonai, just you are gingery like that. Man, there's a place for you. But you need an oil. The oil I'm talking about is an empowerment from on high. Is this a validation of the season? It's a put oil on his head. So, people of God, let me tell you in everything you're getting, and when I'm talking about oil, talking about the hand of God, the presence of God, if they like, let them take everything away from you. But let them not touch your oil. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. See, the oil you carry can cost new things to Makanashi. Rebe Dekosa. Don't, I, listen, don't, don't kill yourself about who lives your life or who stays in your life. It's not important. All your day here. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. What did I say? All your day. And this all your way day here knows how to bring a yadabasha. Rekoto. I feel like praying for you. Your destiny will never be quiet. I wish that amen would be louder than it is. I say your destiny will not be quiet. As one chapter is closing, a bigger one is opening. As one season is closing, a bigger one is opening. Receive it of the Lord. Receive it of the Lord. Receive the oil. Take your seat. And he says, one thing you're going to do right now, when you pour the oil on him, now blow the trumpet. Adonijah, you had everything going for you, but you don't have the sound that changes seasons. Adonijah, there is a sound that changes seasons. He says, this is what it is. The trumpet, Kamano Siada. Mekosha. Men may have what it takes. They might have capacity ready, but they don't have the sound that changes seasons. I wish I can stay on this. The sound that changes seasons. People of God, there is a season and there is a sound. People have begged for seasons, prayed for seasons. And when the seasons are about to come, they can't, they do not have the sound for the new season. Sir, and he said, all of you shall say, God save King Solomon. Show me the next verse as I tidy up. Then you shall come up after him that he may come and sit upon my throne. All of these things have to happen before he takes his place. So this is the journey. You see that one that went and made himself an emergency king? Made himself an emergency king. He didn't go through this process. So there is no place for him. But you see this one? Look at where I started. Journeyed with him to where he is. And people of God, the Bible says, For he shall be king in my state and I have appointed him to be ruler over Israel and over Judah I came to let you know act according to a changing season don't just carry the voice of Bathsheba carry the voice of Nathan the prophetic voice remember there is a mule that takes you to the throne that you desire. People of God, don't ride a mule that does not look like your throne. Did I make sense? Understand, courage and boldness can never bet new seasons. You need oil. Did you hear what I just said? You need what? Oil. And I need you to understand that when the oil is poured, you must be intentional about consistently making sounds that speaks of your new season. Did I make sense? Rise on your feet wherever you are. Would you lift up your two hands to God? You see, don't imagine you heard what I said. 
I want to encourage everyone. Go back and release him to what I said. Go and release him to this message. You will need it. I know you will need it. You will need it sooner than you imagine. But I am led to make one prayer out of all that I pray. May God cause you to make sounds that reflect your new season. May you not be in a new season making old season sound. I wish I can say it again. May God open your eyes to what is about to happen. And may you make sounds that are in tandem with your new season. I announce it is done. I wish your amen were thunder louder. Put together your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership. In streams of joy, we stand to give to God because we are offering to the King of Kings. Ooh, what a service! In terms of joy, we stand to give to God. So can I encourage you to rise on your feet with your offerings, your tithes, and your partnership. Make it a wave of you. Make it a wave of you. Let the blessings of those who have honored God with your offerings, their tithes, and your partnership be your portion. Every devourer is rebuked for your sake. And the windows of heaven are poured out. And there will not be room enough to contain. May this week... I don't know who I'm praying for. Be that week. Where 10 years will be released to you at once. The Lord said to me to tell you, stop worrying about your children. The Lord said they are my project. And may the word of the Lord be fulfilled in your life. In the name of Jesus. I pray for someone. God is taking you out of every place you feel stuck. It is done. I pray that a Nathan will come your way this week. Receive it of the Lord. In the name of Jesus.